All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. Um, or please make sure to give this video a thumbs up just to support my channel. But I am totally new here. This is my first video and I have been like, in my head I'm like, finally I'm doing this because I've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited, I'm nervous, but no worries. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to go into like, I don't even know, like maybe just like a little bit what this channel is going to be about, things that I've been loving, and just kind of, just like an easy like chill video, if you get what I'm saying. Okay. I like didn't realize this and like when I started putting things together, I'm like, why are all of the things like beauty related? But it's okay. It's okay. It's all things that I absolutely cannot live without. They're complete and total must-haves. So we're going to get started. And actually I actually have one, like, not food, but, like, drink thing, which I freaking love. And I think you guys will love it, too. So, okay, first thing I'm going to go into is my tanning routine. So I, I don't know, I've kind of hit, like, a wall where I'm like, do I keep killing my skin or do I try like a self tanner and I decided to try a self tanner and I've heard nothing but amazing things about loving tan So a few months back I got the two-hour Express and it just did not work for me I don't know why like it. Um, it's nice because it's like you put it on and after two hours you can wash it off and you're tan How great, but I just felt like I wasn't as tan as I should have been So I was just kind of over it. And I was like, oh, whatever. Maybe it's just not for me then I got just like their regular like deluxe bronzing mousse is what the bottle says and it looks like this or not deluxe bronzing mousse got it um and this is by far the best thing ever I literally love it so much I my basic like real quick routine just to kind of lay it out for you guys and how it works because I'm always like oh my god am I gonna be orange am I gonna be streaky I was so so nervous I just like you get in take a shower shave exfoliate your skin that's huge make sure you exfoliate your skin get all the dead skin off um, and then yeah then you get out make sure you moisturize really really good especially on like your wrists and your elbows like make sure those are totally moisturized just because that's where like the fine lines that's where the tan kind of will sit and then it'll look orange or darker and it won't look as natural if that makes sense so yeah, so then I just do that, put the tan all over with this uh, mitt that I got, and and it right when, I mean, you obviously first see a difference and you're like, oh my God, am I going to be this dark? But I sleep in it, wake up, I shower, and I'm like, wow, okay, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and it does, it looks so natural and it looks like I just laid out at the beach all day, but I didn't. I wish, but I didn't. It lasts probably about, mm, definitely a week. If it probably a couple days after a week, I guess so maybe like almost a week and a half But then at the week and a half point you're like, okay I need to like take this crap off because it's starting to look patchy You can see where it's starting to just kind of like fade away almost um, So then yeah, then I just exfoliate my skin and then put it right back on so Super super nice and I know I'll definitely continue using it. I've, I think I'm like a little less than half a bottle and that's an issue <laughs> so next is please hold next is a face cleanser may i mind you i've been using the same one for years so like being actually real with you probably about four years and i know especially like when it comes to like makeup products if after i use something for a longer period of time it starts to just get too comfortable with your skin and it doesn't work anymore at least for me that's how it is so i was really iffy on trying a new face wash but I just felt like the one I was using, which was the purity one, just wasn't doing it for me, I guess. Um, and, and I've used it probably for a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and I really, really like it. So it's the Tula Probiotic Skin Care Purifying Face Cleanser. It looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. It looks like white, but it's like a baby blue, aqua baby blue. And it's so, so nice because it smells good for one, that's a plus. But I am like a huge not believer but like I really like when things like suds up like when I don't know when it gets really really soapy 
I just feel like my face is actually getting clean. And with that, it does that. With the purity one, it doesn't. It's just more like, um, it just like, doesn't foam up. And this foams up a little bit, but not a lot, but enough to where you're like, I'm getting satisfied. I know my face is getting clean. So thank you. And I've only been using it for not very long. So I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, nine out of 10. So I'm gonna continue going into like face cleanse, not cleanser, but face products. And the next one I'm gonna use is a floral toner. And I've never used a toner before. And it looks like this. It's by the brand Fresh, which I really, really like that brand. Just because it seems to be like super natural. OMG, are we going to focus, please? There we go. Okay. So it looks like this. And I've, I don't know why. I The word toner to me, which I didn't even look the word up. So I don't even know exactly the complete definition. But the word toner to me just makes me feel like it's going to dry my skin out. And I don't know why I feel that way. So I was never, I don't know. I didn't really want to use it. <laughs> If that makes any sense at all because to me it doesn't because I guarantee toner like actually has a really good definition anyways I've never used a toner before I don't know why I just was like never really didn't really know if it was necessary okay well it's necessary because I like say after I wash my face and I feel completely good and I'm about to go to bed I do this toner and I just put it on like a, one of those round cotton pads and I just wipe it all over my face and it is insane how much makeup or just gunk that is still left on your face that you truly think you got everything off and you just didn't. And this makes me feel like after I use it, I mean after I use, I love this, but after I use a face wash and I truly feel that my face is clean, I do this. I feel like it gets everything off of my face. No problem, no issues, it doesn't dry my skin out. And I just feel completely and totally like fresh, clean, <laughs> fresh. <laughs> God, what's the word? I just feel, I feel like it works. Let's just say that. Rose water revered since, okay, whatever. It's just here to do its job. That's what it comes down to when it's doing it. So that's working for me. Next will be, oh, this is a skin product. Okay. <sighs> If, if any of my friends were to ask me, Paige, what is like the number one thing? Not like I'm like some like, I know what I'm talking about. But to me, it's like, I always ask my friends like if they have something that they like really, really love. Like I ask for their recommendations just because like if they like it, maybe I'll like it. So I feel like my friends just kind of do it. We just all do that. And the one thing I always tell my friends is that it's completely and totally changed my skin and the one skin product I know I can't live without is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha, Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pads. That's a long name. They should think about shortening that. Okay, so it looks like this, and there's like three different levels. So like there's like a light, a medium, and like super harsh, if that makes sense. So basically it's just like how strong it's going to be on your skin. I first started with like the super light ones. Now I'm at the medium ones. I've tried the strong ones, but to me, I'm like, I feel like my skin is like, can't take it. They look like this. So it's easy because there's a one, then there's a two and that's it and you're done. So basically what I do after I wash my face, you can, after you even I use the toner, I'll use number one and I'll just wipe it completely over my face until my, it, the pad is dry. Like there's nothing else I can get out of it. Wait till my face completely dries. Then use number two, same thing. And I have I literally noticed probably within the first week and I didn't use them every day I used them here and there because they are expensive so I don't obviously use them every day because I want them to last as long as possible I just it's completely changed my skin I love it. it I don't even know like how to describe it I just feel like my face seems brighter it's cleared up my breakouts it's putting it's putting all the acids in that I need and taking all the bad ones out it's like a miracle worker if that makes sense. So that's skincare. Now we'll go into makeup. Um, I don't know. In the summer, I really don't wear very much makeup. And even just a few years ago, I used to wear a lot of makeup. And now I'm just like not about it. Obviously, I have makeup on right now. But even like my foundation. Like I have a foundation that I can't live without. It's like my go-to ride or die but I don't know, I just don't like how thick it is. It's not even that it's thick because I obviously love it, but it's just a lot. So I started using like a, what is this called? 
tinted moisturizer and it's by NARS so it looks like this okay. looks like that and I'm in the shade light three so it's super super light and it's nice on the skin just because it's not thick it doesn't feel like you're actually wearing makeup and it's also nice because it is a SPF 30 sunscreen in it. If you're going to the beach or if you're going to the pool and you want to wear some makeup, you, I mean, I don't, but some people do. But you can literally just like put some on your hands, wipe it all over your face, and you're like totally good to go. So I have been using this probably for mm, a month. And I have been using this over my like full face foundation just because I'm just into the light feeling, the light look, you know? and bronzer i don't know why but everybody was like raving about the hula bronzer and for some reason i just wasn't getting on the bandwagon wasn't feeling it wasn't with the lingo then i tried it i love it so much i i just thought for some reason even just like looking at it i thought it was just gonna make me look dirty or it wasn't gonna like I don't even know, smooth out or was just gonna look too dark on my skin. Mm -mm. My makeup routine is like not even five minutes. I love it. So I've just been using this on my eyelids as eyeshadow and then using it on my face as my bronzer. And it's awesome. Oh, I probably should show it. It looks like that. And yeah, I feel like everybody and their mother raves about this, but I can see why. Oh, Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so I, ew, what is that? First of all, never believed in primers. I was like, okay, that's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna hold my foundation. It's not gonna do anything for me. Mm, I stand corrected, okay? Because the Becca brand, this one's the Backlight Priming Filter. This one's, this is the newest one I've tried. I use the purple one, it smells so dang good. And I just feel like that one's worked so well with the foundation that I've used or even just like this mo tinted moisturizer. It's just, it worked really, really well. But then I was like, I want a little bit more glow, you know, since I'm not gonna be putting a bunch of like makeup on, like I just want something that's just gonna like make my skin look dewy, glowy, whatever, how well, everybody wants their skin to look, especially in the summertime. I tried this backlight, the backlight priming filter and it looks like this. It's in like a, okay, the wording I can barely read. So if you guys can read it, props, but it's, it's real light. Anyways, it is like shimmery and I was like, oh God, I don't want glitter on my face, but it is so dang good. When I was in the store, I put some on my hand and I immediately rubbed it in and I was like, oh, I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it a lot. And yeah, so I've been putting this on before my foundation, putting my foundation on and then putting a little bit of bronzer on plus blush and I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. So that's pretty much all I've been doing is this foundation, bronzer, blush so i haven't been using this very long but enough to where i'm like i'm definitely going to be purchasing this again so this with this my new fave and it's just like super super light and it doesn't feel like it's like a lot on my face and i feel like glowy you know okay i'm gross two lip products three lip products oh i used to be like super all about liquid lips liquid lipsticks and then I was like, I'm just over it because I feel like it just like dries my lips out or I'm just don't want to spend the money on them. And then I found this by NYX today, please. NYX. Yeah, it's in the shade Abu Dhabi. And it's a soft matte lip cream. Okay, first of all, two things. This is a beautiful nude and it's not super dark, but it's not super light where it like washes your face out. It's so creamy. The only downfall is well that was only the one thing but the second thing that's nice about it is it's so dang cheap so there's no reason that you couldn't just get it and try it because it's actually really really nice but the only thing is is because i feel like it's like a cheaper brand it doesn't last all day so like i have to i do find myself like reapplying it that and then as we're talking about nude lipsticks so this new thing from sephora i don't know what they're trying to do if it's i don't know if it's like hashtag lip stories i think that's what it's like the brand or what they're doing but it looks like this and they have like i don't know a million and one colors like black white every red or orange pink nude color hashtag cream mm, that's cute it is creamy anyways it looks like this okay 
first of all, it's so light. It literally feels like, have any of you guys used like the Baby Lips chapstick? Because this is how that feels, but it just feels like, obviously there's like tint to it. So it's like, guys, I'm breaking out so bad. Don't judge me. This and these would probably have to be my absolute favorite nudes right now because I feel like I always have a hard time trying to find nudes and I don't really wear any other color. Or I really like like the NYX butter glosses. The fortune cookie one is like, the best if you want something just like super light and easy to go like that would be really really nice i feel like the fortune cookie with like a little glow on your face is just like a little sun-kissed look but if you're looking for like a nude these are them because they're so good so and they're so cheap this one i think this was like eight bucks mm, i could be totally wrong it's cheap for a lip for a lipstick i would probably say like eight or twelve bucks probably no more than ten or twelve dollars but and it's so 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 worth it and this one's like i think six or seven dollars i just got it at target okay now chapstick because i cannot live without chapstick and i have been loving the burt's bees brand this is you know the whole dang pack because i clearly need every single flavor <laughs> um but it's the moisturizing lip balms it comes with the regular one which i'm not a fan of and i remember when i first started using burt's bees i tried that one and i was like i don't like this at all but then I was like, oh, we'll give it another shot. And I got the vanilla bean. Okay, I freaking love it so much. I feel like it's actually getting my like lips moisturized and it lasts so long. Like I even like, I'll put it on right before I go to bed and I wake up and I'm like, hmm, okay. It's still doing its job. So this one comes with four different kinds and yeah. And I know that I've, I will definitely use all of them. Oh, the bees, wow, the regular one has peppermint in it. Why didn't I like that? Maybe I'll like it now. Who knows? All right, so I feel like I just had to jump on the trend of scrunchies. Now, I have been like wanting to try to grow my hair out and I obviously have heard that putting it up in a tight ponytail with a, an elastic is not clearly gonna do the job. So I was like, well, maybe I could just use something lighter that's not gonna pull really, really tight and scrunchies are doing it for me. And I just like the way they look. They just look kind of cute. And since my hair is like super thin and fine, but it'll look like just like very flat. But then when I would use a scrunchie, it kind of gives me that extra oomph and I love it. So that's good. Okay, last thing, because my camera's gonna die, is the Premier Protein Shakes. Holy dang guacamole, you all need it. God, I'm like rushing to get through this video. It has 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, one freaking gram of sugar. Feels like I'm drinking a milkshake. Anyways, super low fat and my my like morning thing, sometimes I don't like eating a like eating breakfast right away. So I'll go to Starbucks and get just like this is another fave. <laughs> so I've been loving this kind of cup, so I'll just take this to Starbucks and I'll be like, "Can I have two shots of espresso on ice?" And that's all I want. And then I'll go back in the car and I'll put this in there. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. It tastes like I don't even freaking know vanilla latte, but you're drinking 30 grams of protein and getting your coffee in. So you're killing two birds with one stone. I never liked that saying. Makes me sad. I have to wrap this up. My camera's gonna die. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe down below and leave comments for future videos that you guys would like to see. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.